Or right, just a quick video on uh, how to flash a uh, Happy Model EP1, EP2 Express LRS receiver. This is uh, going to be the same for a lot of Express LRS receivers, but I've got the Happy Model EP1 receiver. Uh, what happened was my built in uh, Express LRS receiver went pop on this one on the Happy, uh, on the Crazy Bee board, and there's no LQ. And I've lost my bind. I tried putting the binding phrase, didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an, ex an external EP1 receiver by Happy Model. And what you can see I've done here, because I don't want to connect it to the quadcopter, to the five volt regulator, wait 30 seconds to a minute and the VTX fries, because they go really hot really quickly on these. What I've done was, because it requires five volts, I've got a USB cable, chopped the end off it, got rid of all the nonsense inside apart from the ground and live wires, the red and the black ones, connected it directly to my Express Solaris receiver, and I'm going to plug the other side in to my computer, and there you can feed it 5 volts. And that way, it's the first time I'm doing this actually. There you go. Light. Now you have to wait about 30 seconds for this to go into binding mode. But it saves you frying your all in one board if it's connected to that and you're putting power through it and your VTX is getting hot. So this should actually go into binding mode soon, hopefully. While we're doing that, um, I've already compiled my firmware for my Happy Model um, receiver and TX here. I've got the bin files. This is not an instructional video on how to do that. Uh, you can look elsewhere for that information, i.e. Joshua Bardwell, so on and so forth. Um, that's still flashing. It hasn't gone into buy mode yet. But when that, there we go, there's binding mode. So once that's gone into rapid flash, that means it's gone into binding mode. We'll be able to find now, there we go, Express LRS RX and connect. And that is the Wi Fi. Uh, signal from the receiver that I'm connecting to. Let's wait for that to connect. Right, this is precisely why I didn't want it attached to my flight controller because it just took me about five minutes to get this receiver connected via Wi-Fi. It's finally come up. I tried two different browsers, uh, Microsoft Silverlight, I believe. Didn't work. I tried it on Google Chrome a few times and it's just appeared now. So this is a flashing page. So I'll go down to choose file. I'll select my bin file for RX, which is receiver, not the TX one, that's your module, RX bin file, and update. As you can see, it's updating, and the light went out, and now we've gone to a different blinking green light now not the rapid one we saw before, and it says update success succeeded. Please tell me in the comments if linking my receiver to a USB cable was a bad idea. Whether I'm going to blow it doing this, but it don't appear to be blown up. It appears to have flashed successfully. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.